Okay, here we are. Good morning or afternoon. Yay! Hello, everybody. <laughs> How are you? No police around. No need for they the. Didn't see them, yeah, they didn't I can. See them. I don't know if you guys can hear the bell, the ring. No, not the bell. Hi, Linda. Good morning. How are you doing? The police, see yeah. See, see, see I, uh, hope they're not coming for me. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry. Don't okay. worry, Seban. Seban, don't leave it. So it's almost five? Yes, it is it's five. five it's five o'clock. So hello everybody. Welcome back. We are today in Pamplona. My name is Francisco. And I am Elo. One question that a lot of people has asked direct messages, are we married? No! no! <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, we are married. <laughs> But to somebody else, I mean, she's married to her husband, they have a kid, I'm married to my wife, and we have three kids. So, no, we're just working colleagues, for God's sakes. No! ¿En serio? <laughs> like, it's not Qué your buena. wife, like, no, it's not my wife. Qué okay, buena. so, <laughs> once that is been clear out, <laughs> you're blushing, you're red. Hi, <laughs> Jorge. Hi. Okay, <clears throat> buenas yeah, tardes, yeah. pareja. Okay, Hola. so. Today we are going to be talking about Pamplona's citadel, okay? Which is the one of the most important citadels uh, from the 1600s uh, here in Spain. Linda, you're in California? Oh, oh Linda Berlin. Hello. Hi, Susie Monta Montejano. And that's Montejano, an easy one. Like, come on, yes. that's an easy one. Hi, Susie. So uh, it is one of the most important citadels that we have in Spain, okay? So today we're going to be talking about war and how war or the art, art of war changed the construction of this incredible citadel okay uh, hi janet from colorado oh, wow. oh that sounds good wow. isn't it <laughs> it's like oh, colorado <laughs> california it's like well we're in pamplona, we are in pamplona. <laughs> yeah it doesn't sound that excited anyway so a little bit of history uh, let's go back to the year 1512 1512 it's when uh, the kingdom of Navarre becomes part of Spain. The Catholic kings got married, they make one big country, which is Spain, and we are the last part that becomes part of Spain. As you can imagine, some of the locals didn't want to be part of, the, of Spain, so there were a little, many wars. Yeah, it wasn't easy. It was not it an easy moment, easy, yeah. that, that, that we go. Uh, so, years pass, and in the year 1571, Hi, Judy, from Florida. So in the year 1571, uh, we had a king here in Spain. Now we're talking Spain, okay? In Spain, uh, hi, James, from New Jersey. New Jersey. Ooh, called New Jersey. So we had one king, center, focus here. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, Philip II, who is the great grandson of the Catholic kings. He is the one that sees the possible danger of being invaded either by France or uh, the Spanish being insurrected, uh, the people from Navarre insurrecting against the crown of Spain. So where we are right now, it is in the south part of the city of Pamplona, okay? In the north part of the town is where we have uh, the big walls of the city, okay? If you did the Pamplona city tour on Christmas, you can go on Facebook and look for that one. We walked on that side, that was the northern part. The south part is a flat land and we needed a huge construction. Okay, which is what we're gonna see today. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Uh, first thing, okay, the citadel is right behind us. So, yes. let's turn around and let's start by showing you guys this. Okay. So, we ha you have to take keep in mind that these type of constructions were thought not just to defend, but how the enemy is going to uh, attack, okay? So the thing is that, okay, so we are here and the attackers, okay, let's say the bad people, we're not going to give any nationalities yet. No, no, I'm not going to talk of any nationalities. <laughs> no French at, at all, no, no. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet. So the thing is that uh, what you see if you are attacking Pamplona's south bank, which is the easiest flank to, to attack, you're gonna see only that tiny little wall, but that's just a trick, okay? Uh, because the walls of the city are huge. The thing is that here, as you see, 
we have a very very big garden okay yeah. it's uh, la vuelta del castillo which means around the castle around the citadel okay all of these trees that you see they're new they're less than 200 years old okay the reason uh, there was one law that says that around the citadel there was no construction construction being permitted the word of these gardens was glacis g-l-a-c-i-s glacis why we don't want any construction or any trees that way uh, people would not be able to hide okay so take all of these trees out of your imagination okay so let's walk as we are trying to attack and all you see is that bastion that is right there okay once again take all of those high buildings on the back and the thing is that uh, Philip II the king of Spain he called an Italian architect his name well sorry not architect a military engineer his name was Giacomo Palearo known as El Fratin F-R-A-T-I-N and he constructed or he designed this fortification which is uh, a Italian Renaissance style okay it is like a five star uh, has a five star sh blah, five peaks of a star shape yes yes kind of so <laughs> as we get closer and closer and closer you see that really it is a huge fortification okay well let me put my mask on because now we are entering the part where there's people so i gotta get my mask on sorry for that okay mask on so look at how big all of this is and uh, if you see there are absolutely no entrance there are no doors around here the only one it's right there so that's the place where the people had to go all the way to there because all of this it's impossible to reach okay because this is way too high way 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 too tall okay uh, so let's walk that way okay so imagine we have come all the way here we have been attacked once we are I'm, we're gonna show it to you now uh, by the way today uh, this beautiful garden it is uh, quite big it is 62 acres it's the greenest garden we have in the city of Pamplona and it is the biggest sport yes. center. It is, it is great because we can have a walk or uh, practice uh, summer sports. It's really great to have this garden in the downtown. It is the biggest that we have in the downtown, in fact. It's, uh, well, it's all with amazing trees, as you can see. Well, unfortunately now, obviously it's winter, so you don't see how green all of this area is. Uh, it is an English style garden, which means that there are no flowers or things like that it's just beautiful green lawns and trees okay so that's what this garden is all about it's a beautiful park you're right Leslie it's beautiful 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 park okay so now we get to see the entrance it's there so we have to go but first you have this little road here and if you're the attacker obviously you don't know where you're heading to so you think okay this is a little path I'm gonna take it wrong because if you take it there's gonna be a huge cliff and you're gonna fall down okay so uh, like this. Yeah. what they wanted is the way it was designed it was so uh, the attackers would get lost or it was pretty much like a labyrinth I would say it's no it's very complicated yes. Yes. to find your way around it is thought uh, they thought in that they thought that it was possible uh, that people get lost around uh, the citadel and it was easier from the citadel to defend the town because we have found many uh, small groups of uh, attackers divided in all uh, around the citadel and this is easier to, to protect defend, yes yeah. to defend the, the the place okay it is because of that they have thought on that on that way so as you see it's as I was saying, there are a lot of many, many, many little places that you can get lost, okay? Which is very beautiful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, now we are the, we're entering the citadel. But here we're gonna see, okay, let me turn the camera around. Because, 
Okay, so we have come through the garden, okay? But now we are going to, not the attackers, we are the defenders, okay? So what happens is what you see. Okay, look at this. The first defensive thing, it's this wall that if you're coming through here, you didn't see. So from here, we can be shooting them, okay? So they don't see who's shooting. They think that the people shooting are from up there, but in fact, we are down here shooting from ground level, okay? So once we call and we shoot them and they're gone down there, what we do is we retreat and we go and we can inside, inside of the citadel. Using the, the, okay. the gate, yes. So here we have a, one bridge that it's, a, I think you guys call it draw bridge that you can put the, the thingy up. I don't know. I don't know. There I don't know the word. technical <laughs> word for that. Mm, I've looked for it and it was... Does anyone know it? <laughs> Does anybody know? <laughs> this, <Can't pass>. <laughs> <laughs> this type of bridges that comes up. Yes. Okay. So you see, we have this beautiful, beautiful gate. Yes. Okay. And this is and the bridge. Todos los pozos. Okay, so uh, here, one of the things in construction is that this bridge is made of wood. So from up there, we could set fire. Okay, so we could destroy it so nobody could come in. As Elo is saying, take a look. Drawbridge. So, hey, I was right. Drawbridge. Yes. Yay! Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. So, uh, look at the pits, okay? By the way, these are dry pits. Uh, the image we have uh, in the movies are that we have cro uh, water and crocodiles uh, <laughs> and all that. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, no this has here. always been dry, <laughs> yes. okay? The reason for that is because that way, the, how on earth do you go down there? It's impossible. You have to jump to go down, then to go up. So it was and very well thought. Yes, uh, just in front of us we can see where uh, we put the canyons. If you are down in the fossil. Okay. In the pit? Yes, in the pit. Uh, you can get shot by us in the, in okay. the canyon. You yes. see can you those see the places? Things right there. Yes. Those are to set the canons. Okay. Yes. So if you try to walk down there, they could shoot you quite easy. All right. So yes. <laughs> it was very well thought indeed. Okay. So let's walk a little closer inside of the citadel. Once again, all of those buildings that you see all the way on the back, just take them out, okay? Imagination here. So we went one pit, okay? And then we have this second bridge, okay? Yeah. Because we have a second pit down here. A small pit, yes. Which is a little bit smaller. And here, we start having the big, in incredible architectural construction. Because if you see all of those cannons, are pointing exactly to where we are. Why? Okay, yes. they will close that gate. All the invaders would be here and we can shoot them from there all the way to here and then... Or they, they can destroy that bridge. They can bridge. destroy this bridge. And yes, and no one can get to the other side. So it was a very, very clever thing. Yes. Uh, as we're walking in, let us show you a little bit uh, how this citadel looks from the air, okay? We made a picture of it. I mean, not from the air, it's from the internet, as you can yes. imagine. Okay, <laughs> let me see. So we are right now uh, here, okay? So as you see, it has one bastion, two bastions, three bastions, and this is the city of Pamplona, okay? The thing is that originally there were two more bastions, one here and another one here. Those two were to control the people of Pamplona. Yes. Okay, uh, those bastions survived 300 years, but didn't survive Franco. <laughs> Franco demolished them to construct the new part of town, okay? So that was, back then, it was not there. My, my parents, they don't remember many of the buildings that are around here, okay? So yeah. this is how, uh, hi Anna, hey from Greece, hello, how are you? I should be with you today in Seattle, yay. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> look at the beautiful, and the thing is that, what a beautiful day we have today. Look at that. Yeah. We are really lucky, it's not raining. Yes, it's like... <laughs> at so, least at this moment. <laughs> as you see, it's a huge, huge, huge construction. Okay. So, once again, we keep on walking in. So we have already gone through two different pits and two different uh, bridges. Yes. Okay. Both of them, we have broken them. 
we have blown them away and suddenly you come to the big wall dun, dun, dun. hey hi david are you in australia oh <laughs> yeah we're here so look at that big huge wall okay so now you think okay i made it i made it. i've crossed two different pits yes. two different bridges finally i'm going to reach the big wall but guess what we have another bridge more <laughs> this is the third one so we thought about that <laughs> and we said aha you want to go and go the over. thing that i love most we have more canyons we have a lot of canyons here yes. it's a i mean imagine you're all defeated it's like oh my god we finally <laughs> lot of information that you share thank you yaki <laughs> so look at that we still have another incredible pit, yeah. okay? So again, you have to cross this bridge with all of these. Now, as you can see, we have a food soccer court in here. And as I don't know if you have realized, but we have three cannons, one, two, and three on that side. And if we go to the other side, we have another three cannons pointing to here. <laughs> so is that easy to destroy or is that easy to destroy? I mean, it was incredible. It was so well thought. Well, one, as you see today, all of these different hidden corners and all of these cute little parts to get lost. And back then it was to get lost. Today, yeah. I think somebody- In the somebody 21st century is really <laughs> we want to get lost. Yes, okay. people want to get lost, like the cute little and couple. Stay alone. Look at them. <laughs> hey, they cute. <laughs> have you been somewhere up there with yes. your husband? I have been uh, with my okay, wife. Well, okay, wait, let's do it. <laughs> We're sharing too much information here. No, no, no. But no. these walls bring very good memories to yes. all the people yes. in town. Let's put it that way, okay? <laughs> Okay, enough. We enjoy a lot. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. We, we really... It's Better if we uh, keep talking about yes, war. Let's, let's talk about war. Okay, so imagine that you have finally made it all the way to here. By the way, this door was on, uh, on a second way of construction because we said that the first part of construction started in 1571 with the Italian architect. The second part, it was uh, designed by a friend... Well. Okay, in the 1660s, uh, in France, we have uh, Louis XIV, Louis XIV, which is the Sun King, okay? And he's the one who, look at the clouds. I mean, they look like a painting. Yes, Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> yes. so I swear it's not a painting, it's the real clouds. Oh my God. Anyway, so Louis XIV, uh, Louis XIV. Not that uh, don't get lost, don't get lost. Louis XIV, he wants to protect all France and he hires another uh, architect. His name was Vauban, Vauban, V, sorry, uh, V-A-U-B-A-N. And he's the one who designed these star-shaped uh, citadels with all of these extremely strong fortifications. And he, we followed that trend, okay? So all of this is Vauban style. And this door that we see here, it is uh, the original door, uh, sorry, the door that was designed on Vauban style. But I don't know if you get to see right there. Okay, you see that, okay, where's my finger? Okay, here. Those stones there are a little lighter than those stones there. Okay, so originally there was a little door in that part, okay? So they, the Vauvang style conquered, tab, uh, covered that door and constructed this door. Okay, so that is one of the big changes of Vauban. What's the issue? Let's, let me show you again the, the star, uh, the picture of the citadel from the sky, okay? Okay, Elo is being fast here. Okay, so what's the deal? The thing is that the art of war changed, okay? Why? Before, when we were the Kingdom of Navarre, we were defending out of catapults and nothing much more. By 1560s, 1570s, uh, gunpowder has come from China and cannonballs have been created, okay? So the thing is that cannonballs, what they can do is they can shoot very, very, very far. And what 
Vauvin said is, okay, what you need is to have the enemy far from the citadel. Okay, so that's why you have all of these things. So if they start shooting from here, from where we started walking, they would never reach the citadel. And the thing is that these walls are so high, the walls that we have in front of us, okay, that with this distance between one wall and the other wall, the cannons could not shoot so horizontally. So, so that is super well thought, okay? So I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain with the war techniques, okay? It's, it was great. It was, this uh, citadel was undefeatable, okay? So another thing that I want you to think about is how thick the walls are. Now we're gonna go inside of the citadel. Uh, hopefully the connection uh, doesn't break, okay? Because really here the connection is not, it's so thick that uh, really the connection can go down. So let's count how many steps we have. Okay. And you have to think that all of this is covered, okay? So it's incredible because if a cannonball hits here, it's going to be impossible to destroy this huge thing. Okay, so it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 steps. <laughs> and, the cry and the crying kid. <laughs> so this wall, okay, that you see here, it is 33 steps deep. So it is almost indestructible. From here, we get to see uh, all of these rooms that we have here, okay? All of these rooms, they were for the horses, for the workers. You have to think that inside of here, there was about 3,000 people working, okay? And living. So, because the citadel uh, was like a little, uh, how do you say? Like a little city, okay? So today it's a beautiful, beautiful park. Okay. We need to come back here on, on the spring. On the spring, the with the trees, yes. yes. And the, everything, yes. Let's go to see one of the cannons, okay? Because we have some cannons. And let's get away from that screaming kid. Okay. Yeah, I think that we are still uh, having this uh, citadel because it belongs to the army until 1960s. So... Because of that, we are still having it. So we... Uh, it, it was constructed as a military? Uh, building and it remained yes. military until 1960s. Something like that, 60s, I don't yeah. know, 60s so or 70s. Imagine. And and after they make a contract with the with the city hall, and they give us the citadel. When you mean us, you mean the city. The city. Okay. <laughs> so scattered around this park, <laughs> we have some uh, some cannons. Okay, like these ones. All of these are original cannons. This one that one and here we in we back then we had a chapel which is this building that is closed now yeah. because as i told you it was like a city so there was a chapel in here and today this chapel is used to make civil weddings it's not anymore a chapel so if you want to get married without doing it in a church it is a good place to, it's a good to, place to, to my brother-in-law really he got married here place. yeah it's yes. a beautiful beautiful place yes. yeah my brother-in-law got married two years ago Okay, so uh, all our, today, this beautiful park, it is, uh, it's a park that, <laughs> it's an incredible garden. And the thing is that during the year, there are many, many activities going on in here. In Christmas, we had a Christmas light. So it was not Christmas lights. It was just different light installations all around the place. Uh, during the week of the running of the bulls, nobody can access here because we do have fireworks. It's Amazing. really special in summer because we have a lot of music festivals, yes. concerts, and it is really great to have this kind of activities uh, here in that uh, beautiful place. Yes, so concerts are great because here you're in the middle of the city, but yes. you don't bother anybody, so yes. it's great. We also have a lot of very monumental art in here. Okay, beautiful sculptures from very modern uh, yeah, because, artists. Yes, because nowadays 
in some of these buildings we have expositions, art expositions. Which one yeah. is your favorite sculpture from here? <laughs> probably the same as mine. Yeah, probably. The one you get lost when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna show it to you. Okay, so uh, there's one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's one sculpture in this uh, garden that we all love it and in our generation, well she's much younger than I am, the thing is that we were allowed to walk in and play, it's super small, but we were all, I think the whole city got stuck in it <laughs> when we were kids and now they don't allow you to go inside of the sculpture, which is a pity because it was so much fun, I loved it, we're gonna go see it. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway. So here, uh, as you see, we have beautiful sculptures all the way around. Uh, there's one more thing that young kids love of this place is that it has free Wi-Fi. Do not disturb the city today, yours. Okay, <laughs> okay we won't. So uh, this building, uh, it was constructed in 1720, okay? And it was the re residence of the important people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Coroneles generales, la gente importante. Yeah. The generals and the, the important yes. people back yes. there. Captain, these kind of things. Yeah. Yes. This building that we have now in front of us, uh, it was the storage for the gunpowder. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's one of the oldest buildings in here. It's from 1640 and it's still in perfect shape. There is where the city of Pamplona holds the collection of modern art that every year they have been buying for the last. I think 20 years. Yes. So very controversial art because, well, you know, modern it's art. It's not possible to visit it. No, not anymore. No? No, not now. Which is, a, it's a pity, yes? Yeah. Okay, and there's one, well, two more buildings. That one was where they would work. And that one, that round one, let's go that way. That was the oven of yeah. the city, okay? Because imagine if there's 3,000 people working here, uh, you need a lot of food. So that building, it is uh, the oldest one from here. It's 1648, okay? And it's a round building that, it was called the oven and they would cook bread, meats, the whole thing, okay? There were about 20 people working day and night uh, inside of there, okay? And we were telling you about, uh, okay, <laughs> The sculpture that all the kids love. And I think there's a kid stuck in it. No, I oh, know it's. Why are all the kids crying today here? No, sé, okay. lo a mi hijo. <laughs> Your son is also crying every day. Uh, yeah. Bad day, bad day. Bad day, so, bad day. This funky sculpture that I call it the orange peel, the cascada de naranja. I don't know why, because it's orange, I guess. Yes, it was the place, the playground for all the kids in town. And you would get inside of there. It was impossible to get out. The last time that they need to call to the bomberos, the firefighters, to, fire to help a, a boy is where they decide to, to ask children not to get inside, yes? But come on, it's so much fun. It was so, so much fun. It was coming. It's like... It super was, cool. It was really a, a great adventure to get yes. up there, to get in all the holes. Uh, yes. The trick was trying to go all the way to the top. It was yes. super cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, when we posted this, uh, that we were going to do this, we said that we were going to explain you why we hate French people. Uh, I think... <laughs> uh, Yes, really. Not now. Not no, now. No, no. We not love now. French not people, now. okay? Because I have a very good friend. Yes. And she was like, uh, when are you saying that you hate French people? I'm like, no, no, no. Back then. And the joke here, we say that it's somewhere hidden in the Spanish constitution that people from Spain, we should never say publicly that we like French people. Yes. So, I don't know. It has to be somewhere um. in there. But why these people? We're still having some problems. Eh? Well, I we live still... in, the in the border. And okay, well, when you live in the border, you know? it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> the thing is that why do we hate French people here? Okay, so we have to go to 1808. Uh, in Spain, we had a king. Uh, his name was Charles IV. He was not a very good king, let's put it that way. He was a very weak king. Yes. At that moment, in France, we have Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte, the big emperor who hates who? The Brits. So uh, the thing is that uh, here in Spain, we have Gibraltar 
and Gibraltar all the way at the south it is British and the Portuguese king the kingdom of Portugal uh, they want they helped the British crown so Napoleon Bonaparte asked the king Charles IV of Spain do you mind if I cross Spain just to conquer Portugal well no well yes so uh, at least finally was yes finally was yes well there was a treaty the treaty of Fontainebleau yes and we said okay you know you French people you're so nice we're gonna let you go through Spain not a big deal mm -mm -mm. we like you go for the Portuguese we don't like Portuguese okay it doesn't matter to us it doesn't matter it's very, very nice. well as you can imagine uh, well first uh, Joseph Bonaparte uh, sorry Napoleon Bonaparte sent his brother Joseph uh, to lead the troops while crossing Spain and in February 16th 1808 those troops arrived they were sitting settling outside of the city of Pamplona uh, it was uh, here the general commander was uh, the Duke d'Armagnac and that night uh, a huge snowstorm came into town okay and the next morning the French uh, the French troops started playing outside of the citadel uh, on a snowball fight having so much fun it was like oh my god so, so much fun people of Pamplona <laughs> this is so much fun oh très joli oh mon dieu c'est très bon okay, no <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, why don't I you come no on <laughs> come on play with us well guess what and what happens with some, when someone tells us a que no vienes when somebody tells you I dare you to come down and play a snowball fight. We go. We went. Yes, we went. Yes. Yeah, we went down, and as you can imagine, the French, they were all ready with weapons and the whole thing. And the city of Pamplona was taken by the French February 16, yes. 1808, on the most stupid snowball Wait. fight <laughs> in the world. Because that is our. Hor we Troy opened. Horse. Yes, you know, we opened. We opened the, the whole city. I was like, come on, <laughs> come on, play, you nice French people. <laughs> Not very clever from our part, I may no. say. Uh, <laughs> the thing is that uh, little by little they conquered all the Spain, and when they made it into Madrid, it's probably uh, you have you remember Goya's painting, Francisco de Goya, uh, the killings of the second of May. Second of May, second. Sorry, not second of May. May second. Uh, that is when Spain uh, was totally defeated by the French. Okay, and we became French for three years. Okay, <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and if that was not an enough reason to hate the French, I'm gonna give you another one. Uh, because Joseph Bonaparte, he, the brother of Napoleon, he became the emperor of Spain, and he is the person who put taxes into wine and alcohol <laughs> taxes in wine and alcohol hello that's not a clever thing to do so it was not a good thing uh, so he is the one who put taxes uh, into the alcohol and that is why we call him here in spain jose botella pepe botella which means joseph the bottle because everybody thinks, oh, he was drunk all the time no it's not because of that it's because he put taxes and we need to pay more for our wine, yes. And that's why we pay. Okay, I know that most of you are Americans and you say, yes, wine in Spain is cheap. <laughs> well, we pay a lot of taxes out of wine, so we're not happy it with that. It was cheaper. It was it cheaper. cheaper. Imagine, <laughs> even cheaper. Good wine for much cheaper price. So, what else do we have to share about all of this? I think we're pretty much done. I think that the thing that I love most of all about this kind of citadel and the walls that we have in Pamplona is that they, well, they were well thought for trying to defend Pamplona from the attackers. But there are some places that they were thought for uh, helping the attackers to get in inside in case we, the Kingdom of Navarra, wanted to get again, to rearm again the kingdom. And because of that, we have this trick. So there are two or three places that only it is supposed that the, it was only known by the constructor, by the... yes. but. <laughs> This like in films. Yeah. Yes, the so, good places of the walls. <laughs> yeah, we have some parts that are a little weaker, but it's that just for that, for yes. what Elo said, in case the locals try to invade Spain. Kind of strange. Yes. Okay, yes. so we are done. Yes. Yes. So, my friends, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, Elo finally speaks in English. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pamplona. Yay. David, you need to come. 
<laughs> so once again, uh, all of these videos are tip supported. If you wanna contribute, you have our PayPal account right there. Thank you very much for your tips. Are and super welcome, super appreciated. We promise we will come back in the spring, and it's going to be really more beautiful than now. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We we'll do the, the same okay. tour in the spring when everything is beautiful and green. Stay tuned because we have a couple of surprises next week. Uh, we don't exactly know what we're doing, but I think in two weeks, what <laughs> we're gonna do, and it, we are totally in shock. We asked permission to Pamplona's Museum of Art if we could film in there, and they told us, well, 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 we'll see, we'll see. Well, guess what? They're gonna open just for us. Oh, we're so sorry. I mean, we're setting like crazy. We're like, oh my god, we have so much responsibility. We have to learn so much. So. Yeah, I think it's gonna be on the 8th, but before we'll show something we'll else. See, okay? we'll see. It will depend on the weather because uh, today we have a beautiful, beautiful day, but uh, next week I think there's a lot of storms coming in. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, everybody. Thank Kisses. you, to everybody. Have a one. See you. Tada! <laughs> see you! I, tada! I would love to be with you today because today we should have all been in Seattle uh, celebrating our friendship, and we unfortunately were not. Claire, I love you too. We can get out from We Navarra. cannot get out of Navarra. So, yes. you know, I, I really want to go to San Sebastian and show everybody. I need to go to anywhere. <laughs> Thank you for the tour. <laughs> Yay, people, we love you. So, my friends, que suerte. We want to go visit you, Claire. Okay, hi, Fry. I miss you so much. We do. <laughs> okay, everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>